Hello, I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. We're, We're the, the Crafty, Crafty Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks. It's a big day in the Cricut craft community because Cricut has just launched a new product, the Cricut Mug Press. Here it is. In this video, we're going to talk all things mug press from how it works to what materials you'll need. Yes, we'll also take you step by step on how to customize and personalize a mug for any occasion. Here it is. It's a tiny smart box. It has uh, not a lot of buttons, so it's really easy to use. Okay. And essentially, it is a box that will heat up. This is going to transfer your image onto your mug perfectly every time and it takes away all that guesswork. It will figure out how long you need, uh, what temperature you need to really give you that perfect result. Yes, and these mugs will literally last a lifetime. I remember back in the day when I was watching Friends, Central Perk, I had a Friends mug, a Central I Perk mug. I had a Friends mug too. Yes, and yeah. I also collected mugs from Broadway shows. Yeah, I feel like mugs were so popular in the 90s, it was always like the gift you got. And I kind of feel like they've never gone out of style. We actually have a storage box filled with mugs that we just can't get rid of. Yes, and now we're gonna have more. I'm not mad about that. <laughs> but what I love about this is it's a perfect gift uh, for teachers, parents, friends, neighbors, um, you know, and you can really customize and uh, DIY it yourself, which, you know, we love. Before we move on to the tutorial, let's talk about what we need. A mug press is only compatible with infusible ink sheets and infusible ink markers. And lucky for us, Cricut just released a handful of new patterns and designs and colors so you can glow up any of your mugs. Yes, this will give you a really nice vibrant mug and it's dishwasher safe. Okay, let's talk about mugs. Cricut just came out with new Cricut mug blanks. They're poly-coated and they come in different sizes from 11 ounce to 16 ounce. You can get them in packs of two or in bulk. Should I'm we, so excited. I know. Should we, uh, Should we make, make a mug? mug? Okay. I think so. Let's make a mug. We're gonna be making two different mugs today, one with infusible ink sheets and one with infusible ink pens. Yeah, it's a very similar process, but it's a little different. But first we need to head to Design Space. Design Space has you covered. You want to choose the size of your mug. There's only two sizes there, and this will come up on your screen. Yes, this is the template, and it's actually gonna cut out and fit around your mug perfectly. And now you can customize a lot of what you see. So like these edges right here can actually be wavy or Yes, ripped, you've actually made straight. one already with a wavy edge. Yep. And you could adjust that as needed. Also see this little guide here. This is just so that you can place an image uh, wherever you want on your mug. So so if you uh, want it in the center area, you put it right under there. Or if you hold your mug with your right hand or your left hand and you want the image to be, uh, you know, facing out, you just use this as a guide to figure out where to place everything. Once you have it all set, you want to remove that or delete it. So you can choose your own image and put it on a mug or now Cricut has tons of different pre-made mug templates. You'll see some repeats and that's just because they have them in both sizes. So they have a larger one and a smaller one. And I feel like they're just gonna be coming out with more and more and more. I mean, these are so great. Oh, this one's cute. Since we're using a pre-made template and we're not making our own from Design Space, we're just going to delete this. Yeah, that's only if you're making your own mug from scratch and wanna use an image in Design Space, but we're just using this one that they already have because it's adorable and we wanna keep it easy. Yeah, so I'm just gonna click make it and follow the prompts. Now, because it is infusible ink, you do want to mirror it. It doesn't really matter with this one too much just because it is an image, but it always is good to remember that. Yes, especially if you have any writing or words or lettering, you always want to make sure to mirror your image. Yes, and then I'm just going to click continue and then pick our base material. Let's see. And we're using the infusible ink transfer sheets. There it is. And now we're going to load our mat and start cutting it. All right, we have our standard grip mat here. Here's the infusible ink. It usually comes in a little bag here. That's just to protect the ink from uh, getting anywhere. It really doesn't get anywhere though that we've noticed. Um, and you want to, look, this one comes with two sheets, which is awesome. Ooh. And it looks a little dull, but it's really gonna be vibrant when we um, heat it up. Yes. Uh, you wanna line that up with the uh, liner side down and the paper side up, just right in the corner there. I love that it's pre-cut. I think that's really yes, helpful. Yes, it's the perfect size for the mugs. And we're going to cut. Of course, Teddy's back and this is a new mat. <laughs> it's not gonna be new for long, right, Teddy? 
It's done. All right, it looks really good. Now what the machine does, it does a kiss cut for the images. That means you're gonna be able to weed it out and then it does a full cut around. So you're actually just gonna be able to like peel that off and wrap it right around the mug. So you can see it just cut out the template and now I'm going to weed out all of this extra infusible ink. Now with infusible ink, I feel like fingers work best a lot of the times. And you like to kind of... Yeah, if you just wiggle it a little bit, um, it will kind of just start to pop right up there. Especially these little pieces right here, that just helps a lot. Now, a lot of people, they either love the process of weeding or hate the process. Uh, you know, we go both ways. <laughs> Sometimes we enjoy it, <laughs> and other times it drives us crazy because we just want to get it done, you know? Yeah, I feel like I usually like it, but you know, sometimes it's a little finicky. And uh, infusible ink will rip, it just like will, so don't worry if it does, just use your tool and pick at it a little bit. And do the wiggle. Do the wiggle! We're ready to move on to our next steps. We have our uh, transfer infusible ink sheet ready to go. For the next steps, you will need a uh, heat resistant tape and a lint roller to clean off your mug. All right, so you wanna prep your mug by using your lint roller and make sure you uh, get it nice and clean. Use the lint roller all around, even do it double time, triple time. You know, that will really kind of uh, help with a really successful transfer if the mug is really, really cleaned well. Um, you can even wipe it down with a little um, alcohol beforehand. You know, do alcohol, let it dry, and then take the lint roller. Yeah, you don't want any oils on it. You don't want any lint on it. Yeah, it's always good to hold it from the handle and, um, you know, just make sure it's nice and clean. Now we're going to wrap our infusible ink sheet. It's good, I, we like to hold the handle towards us and actually we like to get down on its level. This way you can make sure your infusible ink sheet is really wrapped around there really well. And you want to make sure that it's as tight as possible around the mug. Yes. You know, it's kind of built so you can see these flaps kind of go in the yeah, into mug like the portion. There, yep. Yeah, because you really wanna make sure your infusible ink sheet is lined up with the base of the mug. That's the great thing about uh, infusible ink sheets. It's really easy to add and apply. It's not going to get stuck to the mug uh, where you can't remove it. Yeah, and you wanna get it around as tightly as possible. Yes, you do not want any air bubbles. Air bubbles will cause the infusible ink uh, not to fully heat up, and then you're gonna be left with like ghosting. So you just really wanna make sure you do this well. Take your time with it. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna kind of go through here and just make sure that it's, you know, nice and snug. And actually this is where the heat resistant tape comes in handy. You'll kind of learn how much heat resistant tape you like to put on. I like to put it on the top because we did notice that as we kind of have been making these, sometimes it doesn't adhere well to the top of the mug. So just kind of having that added pressure from the heat resistant tape, it will really, um, you know, give you the cleanest look. Yes, thank you, what he said. I kind of blanked, had a, a crafting stroke moment. You blanked working on your mug blank. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, I, I just feel like the more tape, the better, you know, why not? If yeah, you're feeling because... a little worried, especially as you start making them, you know, we're, we're kind of learning as we go ourselves. So, the, you know, yeah. just the more tape, the merrier. I'm also going to put some on the bottom here. And while we were uh, kind of getting this all prepped, the machine beeped, which means it's good to go. It's ready to go. It turned green. It and is. actually it has an auto uh, sensor there. If you don't use it right away, it will turn off. Yes, which it is great. It will turn off. So yes, you don't have to worry about leaving it on or anything like that. It will automatically turn off. Yes. We love uh, Cricut, like always thinks about those things, you know, because crafters, we have a lot going on, you know? That's right, you're multitasking, you forget things, you know? And I have to say, you know, it doesn't feel that hot. I know it's super hot inside, don't touch inside, but it really feels like nice and safe. I just love the design. Moment is finally here. We're going to add our mug into the mug press. You just put it right into the slot and you wanna make sure that your handle is centered and then you push down and what's gonna happen, it's going to hug your mug. Can you see that? So this is a smart machine. It's gonna know uh, the right Oops. pressure for it. It's going to know how long it should heat. So you don't have to have any of that guesswork. And now yep. uh, 
And it, um, you want to make sure that this is here and that your image is really in there so yes. that it gets the, the heat that it needs to adhere to the mug. Um, and then it will start um, a little countdown here on top. You see it starts blinking when it's activated and it will kind of go through. It does take about five to six minutes yeah. for uh, the full thing to work. Um, so but it's literally like you don't have to do anything else. Yeah, that's, that's the greatest it. part. Like, that's it. I now love we that. wait. And it's on the last little blinking light. So we just have a cricket mat here. We're just gonna put the mug on that and let it sit for about uh, 10 full minutes just to cool it down. Yes, it will be, be very, very hot. hot. You do not want to touch it. Absolutely, only touch the handle. All right, it just blinked and uh, it made a little sound, a little chirp. And you just wanna lift the lever, hold the mug by the handle and lift and remove and set it down. Remember, do not touch the mug. It will be very, very hot. This is the hardest part. The waiting. I want to touch, don't touch. I know, but really safety first. You do not want to touch this. Don't touch this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't touch, touch this. I just want to so badly though. <laughs> It's been about 15, maybe 20 minutes. It's still a little warm, but you can definitely touch it. So now, oh my God. A moment of truth here. All right, let's, let's see. Let's see how it looks. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow. Freaking adorable. On. That is wow, so that's really cool. pretty. It is really pretty. It's See really how vibrant. it's so much more vibrant than what the um, infusible e ink sheet looks like. Yes, and it there's nothing. It's you know it's it's ink that's engraved inside the mug, so nothing's gonna peel. Looks so great. Okay, now we're going to make our mug with infusible ink pens, and for this it's really easy. All you need is infusible ink pens. Uh, printer paper and butcher paper. Yes, and what I love about uh, the infusible ink pens is that it's a great activity to get your kids involved, have them make yes. some artwork. On Design Space, we found a design that uh, uses the pen and it's going to cut out the exterior and draw the interior. So I'm just gonna click make it. And I'm gonna mirror it just, you know. Because always mirror, always, always mirror. mirror. Uh, continue. And then I'm just gonna search for paper. So what you wanna use is computer paper. Let's see. Uh, copy paper right here. Perfect. Click that. Done. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna load my computer paper. And then I'm gonna add in my infusible ink pen right over here. And you just wanna make sure that it clicks down. There you go, and close it up. And now I'm just gonna load the mat. And the machine will actually detect the tools, make sure we have it all set up. And then it will start to blink when we're ready to go. And it will do its thing. I, I love the drawing feature. I think it's so cool to watch. I think it's so cool too. Uh, what's so great about the infusible markers and pens is that they have so many different options of colors here. Oh my God. Um, oh, so you can oh, really uh, make anything you want. You know, and you can have the machine uh, draw and... Uh, yeah, draw like an outline for you and then you can color it in yourself, which is what we're gonna do. Yes. Looks great, I'm just gonna peel it off the mat. Now we really should have used a light grip mat looking back just because the paper is so thin, but it will be fine. I'm just gonna be delicate with it. And I'm just gonna add some color to it with um, some markers by hand, but you could totally color it in and make it as colorful as you want. Now we're just adding some highlights here. Again, you could color it in as much as you want. Yeah, and just like the infusible ink sheets with the markers or the pens, it's not gonna look really vibrant until you heat it up. All right, we're gonna clean our mug just like the other one. You always wanna clean your mugs. Don't forget that step. Try not to touch it. And then wrap the paper around the mug. So do yep, you see? And again, it's always good to get on its level. Yes. You wanna make sure that's as flush to the edges as possible. Yes, so it looks straight to me and do you see how it just touches right in the middle? That's perfect. So I'm just going to tape it. Oops. 
really take your time with this part. Don't skip it. So actually I'm gonna add some tape right here to this side, just like that. With the infusible ink sheets, it is sticky already. So you kind of, it helps you out. With this, it doesn't. So you're probably gonna need a lot of tape. So then I'm just gonna pull it tight and do the same thing on this side. Yep, again, you wanna make sure it's as tight as possible around the mug. Just again, you want the most successful transfer here. You don't wanna to have to start all over and waste a mug, waste any of your, uh, you know, your hard work. Absolutely. All right, so I'm just gonna start adding some tape just so there's no bubbles. Oh, that means oh. our mug press is ready. ready to go, it's green. Uh, this is important. Yes, before you add the mug to the press, you need to wrap it with butcher paper. This is so- yes. three layers yes, of three butcher layers paper. Three layers of butcher paper. This is just so that the mug press doesn't get stained by the infusible ink. You can kind of see through it. You don't need to do this with the infusible ink sheets because it has that plastic coating, but you have to do it to the paper because if you don't, the rest of the time you use your mug press, you're gonna have to wrap them with butcher paper because your mugs could get stained. Yeah, and we don't want that. Want so that. never forget not to forget yes. two, three yes. layers of butcher paper going around the mug. And then I'm just gonna tape it right by the handle. I'm mimicking what I did before. Make sure everything's nice and covered. There we go. How does that look? That looks great. All right. Hold it by the handle, slide it in. Make sure it's centered. There you go, that looks pretty good. Yep, and then and you also wanna kind of keep it centered as you press down. Yes. Cause it will Yeah, shift. that's a good, yeah, that's good. You hold on to it as you press. Yeah, so you press. Yeah, you see, cause it will kind of shift your mug a little bit. So you really wanna kind of hold it in place as you press down. It will lock and the light will start to go. You heard that little beep. And now we wait about We're five done. to six minutes. It's done. it's done. Okay, I'm gonna lift the lever. Yep, and hold it by the handle, set it on the mat, and then wait. You'll see it's a little brown there on the edges. That's, That's okay. okay, That's expected. Look, and no, no bleeding from the pen on our little mug press there. So we're all good. Can't touch this. <gasps> wow, very cute. Wow. So cute. See, I think for the kids, this would be so incredible. I know, this is such a great keepsake. Oh, I love so it. Cute. Look how much this went through the butcher paper. Yeah, you can really so see how helpful that is. So I'm gonna use three pieces. So you really wanna make sure you use that when you're working with the infusible ink pens and markers. Cause you don't wanna ruin your precious new baby. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So am I. I think this is the beginning of a new mug adventure. Yes. Now this was a lot of information to tackle. We have more information on our blog. Check it out. Or if you have any questions, we tried to skim as much as we could. Let us know in a comment below. Also, let us know what you think about the new Cricut Mug Press. Yes, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Enjoy your coffee. Mmm, it's delicious. Yeah, we should, we should fill this with something. Whiskey. Probably. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I'm Andrew. I'm Dennis. And we are the Crafty Lumberjacks. You have your space in need of some sprucing. Couple of guys worth introducing. They know their way around the craft store. Finding deals and oh so much more. What should you put in your kitchen nook? Trust Dennis and Andrew. They wrote the book. A little bit of glitter and creativity. Crafting up some fun is their cup of tea. Bring your hot glue gun. Grab some snacks. Time to get artsy with the Crafty Lumberjacks. Woo! Can't read my cue card.